Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tequila Talks, your friend Tequila Bay. Tonight we're going to be showcasing and drinking one of my favorite, if not my favorite tequilas of all time for you tequila aficionados, for you traditionalists. You already know, you recognize it by the bottle cap, you recognize it by the label. Tequila Fortaleza, Tequila Los Abuelos. Let's go ahead and get started. So. To give you a little bit of background on the distillery, um, about the brand, about the history and the culture of Fortaleza. Fortaleza is quinta generacion, fifth generation from the Sousa family. Don Zenobio Sousa, who was one of the pioneers in tequila making and establishing tequila culture. Um, he is the great, great grandfather of Guillermo, who is the fifth generation, who is now producing tequila Fortaleza at La Fortaleza. Don Senovio Sousa was the first to export tequila or mezcal de tequila into the U.S. He was also the first to establish the fact that the Blue Weber agave was the best suited agave for tequila production. Don Senovio Sousa, his son Don Eladio, continued that tradition in tequila making and made tequila and tequila products famous around the world with tequila brandies, with tequila whiskeys, with tequila, and is also making tequilas as an aperitif. Don Eladio's son, Don Javier, continued that tradition from his father to establish the recognition of the appellation of origin of tequila. In 1973, Don Javier applied for the appellation of origin he was on an excursion on a business trip in Japan and he noticed that Japanese were making tequila from the agave and that upset Don Javier a lot and he was like, look, tequila has to be uh, from Mexico, appellation of origin. So he applied for it, but it was not until 1996 that it was officially recognized as the appellation origin of tequila in the regions of Tequila, Jalisco and the five different municipalities that produce tequila today. Don Javier went off to sell the business and sell the distillery. He actually also established La, uh, La Fortaleza and so Don Javier sold the business and uh, after some time his uh, grandson Don Guillermo, Guillermo was the uh, grandson of Javier who then reinvigor reinvigorated the distillery and got La Fortaleza back up and running to establish what we know today as Tequila Fortaleza founded in 2005 as La Fortaleza Los Abuelos. And this is the tequila again for those tried and true aficionados of tequila, uh, that, that ancestral, that time honored product. So let's go ahead and dive into what makes this tequila unique and how it's produced. Tequila Fortaleza is a tequila again made from the ancestral pro processes of slow brick oven, of Tahona wheel milling, of slow open air wooden tank fermentation proprietary yeast uh, with traditions of over 150 years of tequila making here at Los Abuelos, Quinta Generacion, Viva Los Abuelos, Viva Tequila. They also uh, double distill in the same copper pot stills that they first used at La Fortaleza. So again, looking back at the history, the culture of what this tequila is producing, it's, it's unlike any other tequila and it sits at the pinnacle of tequila production. We have in front of us uh, three of their signature tequilas, the Blanco Tequila, the Reposado and the Añejo. Tequila Fortaleza uh, takes pride in using only matured agaves, on average eight years matured agaves that have the peak sugar content, have the best sugars to ferment and distill and produce this wonderful expression of tequila. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up. I mean, I've already opened up, if, if you can notice, I've actually put a big dent on all three of these bottles. A little backstory, so here in Northeast Ohio, here at El Patron, I am not able to source Fortaleza Tequila through my distributing partners, and I had to bring it in from a friend. It was a really funny story. One of my bartenders, we're chatting it up, and she goes, hey, like, my friend's in Mexico, he's at this one distillery, tequila, blah, blah, blah. She shows me a picture, uh, and all I had to notice was the bottle caps. This guy sent uh, her a picture of just a pile of these bottle caps, and I immediately gasped, and I was like, oh my gosh, no way, he's at La Fortaleza, please tell this guy to bring me back Fortaleza Tequila, bring it back by the suitcase. Um, I was fortunate enough to just get a bottle of each, so let's go ahead and crack it open. 
I'm definitely gonna be drinking the Blanco. I've already put many dents into these bottles, but I just wanna go ahead and drink it with you. Again, for those aficionados, for those snobs of tequila, pinnacle of tequila, we're gonna notice that, that tried and true, raw, cooked expression of agave. We're gonna be able to notice those citrus forward notes, those peppers, the, the earth, the minerality, and just a great production of tequila. Salud. On the nose, that's exactly what you wanna smell. As long as you're smelling that agave forward component, uh, all those citruses, all those fruitiness. Now, now, this is naturally occurring. This is not occurring through additives, abocantes. This is a process that takes pride in that time-honored, slow production, small batching that Fortaleza produces and puts out to put out some of the best tequila in the world. Those aromas follow suit on the palate extremely smooth and just agave forward. That's, you know, absolutely exactly what we want to be tasting as tequila drinkers, as tequila aficionados. I've showcased many tequilas on my channel, whether they're celebrity tequilas or not confirmed additive free. I love all tequilas equally. I try to find the, the positive outlook on different branding, different um, production methods, different styles of tequila. So, but for me again, being tried and true, a tried and true tequila drinker, I'm always going to lean towards the Fortalezas of the world, the Siete Leguas, and those additive free, those ancestral productions. But again, this is unmatched tequila. If you have the opportunity to get your hands on some of these bottles, don't second guess it. It's not that expensive. A fifth of the Blanco is about 50 to $60. So again, you don't even have to break the bank. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars for the marketing or the, the luxury or the opulence of some of these higher end tequilas. You can spend 50, 60 bucks and get the best uh, tequila in the world. So salute to that. We're gonna go ahead and put this back. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight and I look forward to seeing you on my next episode of Tequila Talks. We're gonna be featuring a tequila by the name Flecha Azul. If you haven't heard of Flecha Azul, it is a tequila that uh, is established and founded by Abraham Anser and Aaron Marquez, Mexican entrepreneur, Mexican golfer, and they've partnered up with Mark Wahlberg as kind of their marketing flagship partner. We're gonna be working with Tequila Flecha Azul here at my restaurant all summer long, and we are in certain conversations to try to get Mark Wahlberg out to my rooftop to do another one of our official launch parties. So please tune into the next episode, but in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my tequila. Salud, and I'll see you next time.